toss. Just saying, um, to take us through the goal, and I'm sure it must have been really good for you to score against your, your old club. Yeah, I mean, it's always it's always special playing against your ex-team and, and scoring against your ex-team. Ex you know, it's always a special moment. But yeah, Kava did great. You know, you, you guys see him every weekend, his determination, his hard work, you know, his effort to, to battle through everything. You know, that's what, that's what created the goal. You know, he made it to the end line, put a good ball across, and, you know, I was just thinking, you know, get in front of the goal. Because I know Kava, I know he's going to do anything to get it there. And he got it there, so I was happy to, happy to secure that. When Toronto were appealing, was it going through your mind at all that don't tell me I'm going to get another late winner, <laughs> a late goal chopped off? Yeah, I mean, of course. You know, it's happened to me a few times in my career where, you know, I come out on the wrong side of VAR. But, um, you know, I felt like I held my run. Um, and, you know, it's obviously in those moments it's tight margins. But I was happy that, um, you know, it wasn't called back. Vanny spoke about the, the contribution that the subs made today from Cody coming on to Kava, yourself. Just the, the team spirit, it certainly seemed like that out there today. What's the mood been like in the build up to these games? Vanny's talked about he knows that there's pressure. He's trying to keep it away from the players, but how much have you guys been feeling it? I mean, pressure's not always a bad thing. You know, sometimes your back has to be against the wall and you got to feel that, you know, now's the time to get results. And that was the attitude all week. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't a passive week. Guys were fighting, guys were aggressive, guys were battling in training, and that intensity carried over into the game and got us three points tonight. That's something that Jake mentioned, that the first week of, uh, you know, you guys being off was a really intense training. Uh, how, does, how does that feel to, you know, start off your, your homestand here with, with a big three points in front of uh, the home crowd and be able to sting, sing stand by, stand by me with them today? It's huge. You know, um, our home form has been great, you know, dating back to last year. And um, we get results at home, and we continue to get results at home. And with this four-game, now three-game home stretch, you know, this is our time to make up ground and get closer to that playoff line. Big game coming up on Wednesday. You've got a good history in the Canadian Championship. The club's struggled in recent years in this tournament. How important is this tournament to you? It means everything. You know, Canada Cup's important. You know, it's, it's, it's more than the trophy. It's about pride. It's about battling for your, your country's cup, you know? And um, those results last year and the year before, that sticks with us. You know, we still think about it and we want to, you know, rewrite, rewrite those wrongs and come into Wednesday aggressive and hungry for, for that win. What are you expecting from Ballard? The last couple of games, they put six goals past Ottawa, but then they were blanked to the weekend. They, they've talked about they want to come here and not just sit back, they want to attack you guys. Do you think it's going to be a kind of end-to-end -end affair? I mean, it's always going to be tough. You know, to Valor, this is the biggest game of the year. You know, but for us, it's the biggest game of the year as well. So we're, we're coming into that game with that same mentality. We're not going to make it easy. We're not thinking, oh, this is a CPL team or whatever. We're coming in to win this game.